Welcome to What I Recommend, today I'm going to be talking about Clannad and I'm going to tell you if I would recommend it. So what kind of show is Clannad? Well its genres are listed as comedy, drama, romance and slice of life with some supernatural elements. Now the basic setup for Clannad is that our protagonist Tomoya Okazaki dislikes his town and has issues with his dad. Boys with daddy issues am I right? He's also a slacker and a troublemaker but despite all that he's incredibly popular with girls. So that's the very basic setup for our show, it then goes on to covering various character arcs and well yeah, that's that's our setup. <sighs> now let me talk about the supernatural elements for a second because what the fuck? I went into Clannad without knowing it had supernatural elements because I generally don't look into a show too much before I watch it. So when supernatural stuff started happening in Clannad, all I could think is this is bloody fucking weird and distracting. But whatever, it can be looked over and doesn't necessarily detract from the show. Alright, so let's talk about the comedy. Well, to be honest, it was actually quite funny. It's nothing brilliant, but it's random enough and light-hearted enough that it'll make you laugh. Probably. It made me laugh if you know, that means anything. They do repeat the same jokes every now and then, but I only had a problem with one of the reoccurring jokes, but I can't really talk about that without spoiling the show. So moving on, let me instead talk about the romance and drama parts of the show, but in order to do that effectively, we'll need to take a look at the origins of Clannad. So what is Clannad? Well, it's an Irish band that was formed in the 1970s in... Hang on, what the fuck is this? This article is about the Irish music group for the Japanese visual novel franchise see here, oh for fuck's sake. Ugh. Okay, so before Clannad was an anime, it was a manga, and before it was a manga, it was a light novel, and before it was a light novel, it was a visual novel. Now, if you don't know what a visual novel is, you basically want to think of all those trashy anime games that you can find on Steam, where it's just a bunch of text boxes, and if you click enough of the right text boxes, you'll get to see some girl's tits. And you know, that's all well and good, but why is that important in regards to talking about the romance in Clannad? Well, in your typical visual novel, you'll get a couple of choices for whose route you'd like to explore, i.e. you want to talk to girl A or talk to girl B. Now, Clannad's visual novel origins really do show because for a large portion of the show, our main character is just slowly building up a harem of girls, i.e. which one of these girls does this motherfucker want to fuck? But, Unlike a lot of harem based shows, our character does actually choose someone. It just takes a bloody long time. Oh, and the show has an OVA where our MC picks a different girl, so you know, hashtag get the video and other things, boss. But to be completely honest with you guys, I did enjoy the romance. I dislike the harem aspects because I just dislike harems, but they do eventually resolve that and then go into having a cute romance, which I found quite enjoyable. So what's the drama like? Well, if you've been on the internet at all, you would have heard people say that Clannad is a sad show. You know, people all the time say that it made them cry, etc. Things like that. And so yeah, the drama is pretty sad, and for the most part, it's done fairly well. For the most part. A lot of the drama in Clannad is stupid enough that if you go into the show with a cynical attitude or aim to take the show under a microscope, the drama, or sad scenes rather, will really probably have no impact on you and you honestly may just end up laughing at them. What I also found while watching the show was that often the music can really take you out of a scene, either because it just doesn't fit in or is too loud and obnoxious. There's this one scene in particular that comes to mind, which I won't ruin for you guys, but just imagine high stakes drama, then all of a sudden you get really loud music, heavy vocals, to the point where it starts to overpower the scene itself. But even with those criticisms of the music, it does actually have a few nice pieces throughout the show. Now, before I tell you if I'd recommend the show, I'll quickly talk about the art style of the show. Before I actually sat down to watch Clonad, I found the art style to be quite well, hideous, but when I watched the show and saw it in motion as opposed to screenshots, it honestly wasn't as bad as I thought it was at first glance. It's not great and it does suffer from huge as fuck eye syndrome from time to time, but you know, it's alright. So would I recommend Clannad? Yeah, I would actually, but along with that recommendation I'd say that if you want to actually enjoy the show, you've got to be willing to accept that some things are just going to happen are you going to try not to be too critical? But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, have a good one, cunt.